Chapter 12 Home Sweet Home Elhith led the way, turning down streets that became less crowded and narrower as they went, allowing the lanes of grass to become wider. Everything was pleasant and peaceful. Haldir could tell that he would like it there. The road was finally only a few feet wide when Elhith turned into an alley and walked nearly all the way to the end. The buildings each have two homes, one in the front half and one in the back, he explained as they went. It was figured that having the back would be better, a bit more secluded from everybody else. That was probably a good idea. Yes, it probably was. Elhith opened the door and then stood back so that Haldir could go in. Slowly, he took a step inside, but did not get much further than a few feet. Unlike his previous home, which had been very modestly furnished, he could already tell that this one was full of luxuries that he would never have even dreamed about. Of course, living in a building was a bit different from living in a flat in a tree, so that might have had a bit to do with it. There's only so much you could put up in those. Elhith came in, shutting the door behind him. It isn't very much, all told, but it should be large enough that if you need to get some space, you should be able to find it without having to go into the city. However, there is a lawn down the alley a bit farther, so you could go there if you really wanted to. Haldir nodded and then looked around the house a bit, very slowly, almost leery of it because of its size. The bedrooms are upstairs, if you cared to know. Haldir quickly turned around and frowned. Upstairs? Yes, on the second story. There is another level? Haldir asked, blinking a couple times. Well, the rooms wouldn't be up there if there wasn't. This needed a moment of consideration. Yes, Haldir had realized that the buildings were quite large and that it was likely that they would have more than one floor. However, he had not really anticipated he would be living somewhere like that. Very rarely had anybody had homes which had more than one level. Haldir figured that only the most noble of their people had homes like that, such as Galadriel. But the thought that he would now live somewhere with two stories, well, that was a bit much. He summed it up to compensation. He'd need all the room he could get, after all. For a while after that, he looked around, opening drawers and peeking in closets just to see what was in them. Everything was pretty set and taken care of, and Haldir could not think of anything pressing that he would need to get. Presently, he came back to what seemed to be the main room where he found Elhith reading a book. He sat down on one of the couches and looked out a window for a bit before speaking. Well, what do we do now? He asked. Elhith did not turn his attention away from his book when he replied. We wait.